A Course in Miracles, Text, Chapter 15, The Purpose of Time, Section 1, Introduction. Can you imagine what it means to have no cares, no worries, no anxieties, but merely to be perfectly calm and quiet all the time? Yet that is what time is for, to learn just that and nothing more. God's teacher cannot be satisfied with his teaching until it constitutes all your learning. He has not fulfilled his teaching function until you have become such a consistent learner that you learn only of him. When this has happened, you will no longer need a teacher or time in which to learn. One source of perceived discouragement from which you suffer is your belief that this takes time and that the results of the Holy Spirit's teaching are far in the future. This is not so. For the Holy Spirit uses time in his own way and is not bound by it. Time is his friend in teaching. It does not waste him as it does you. And all the waste that time seems to bring with it is due but to your identification with the ego, which uses time to support its belief in destruction. The ego, like the Holy Spirit, uses time to convince you of the inevitability of the goal and end of teaching. To the ego, the goal is death, which is its end. But to the Holy Spirit, the goal is life, which has no end.